Swirls of interest as Italy's Prime Minister Matteo Renzi arrives in Strasbourg to see in his country's presidency of the EU, the first in the new parliamentary cycle after May's elections. Before his main address, he had this for Italian MEPs. I credo che questo sia il tempo nel quale il coraggio e l'orgoglio sono richiesti. Mr. Renzi knows of what he speaks. As a novice in politics, he was spooned into his post this year from the mayorship of Florence. Within no time, his stock rose, so much that his Democratic Party was the leader in the European elections. Fresh eyes on old problems. Se oggi l'Europa facesse un selfie, che immagine verrebbe fuori? Emergerebbe il volto della stanchezza. And a solution? La vera grande sfida che ha di fronte a sé il nostro continente oggi è ritrovare l'anima dell'Europa. Migration, energy, climate and growth are the buzzwords of this presidency and in these hard European rules will play their part. Mr Renzi wants more attention paid to the growth part of the EU stability and growth pact, the mechanism for managing budget deficits while restraining debt. C'è la stabilità, ma c'è anche la crescita. E la richiesta di avere la crescita come elemento fondamentale della politica economica europea. Not so fast, say the Germans, who say there's already plenty of flexibility in the stability pact. For Italy, not long ago, a country staring into the economic abyss to achieve its aims. Jetzt müssen wir flexibler werden, jetzt müssen wir das neu auslegen, jetzt müssen wir das noch mal alles, über, alles überdenken. Ich sage Ihnen, das ist der falsche Weg. Wir müssen die Lektion, die wir gelernt haben. For other MEPs, the speech was short on detail and even shorter on ideas. Sur la taxe sur les transactions financières, Rome et Paris sont les deux capitales qui font le plus d'efforts pour vider le projet de taxe sur les transactions financières de tout contenu. Énergie, climat, quelle union de l'énergie? The final word to Mr. Renzi, who said communication, courage and growth are the keys to exiting the crisis and that Italy sees a big opportunity for all three during its presidency. Now, time for that selfie.